when it rolled off the road down an embankment. As you may know already, Kevin Hart was in a nearly fatal accident in September. It has been relatively quiet since then, until recently on his Instagram where he posted an update since his fatal accident. Way of life as cute, even in a hundred. Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, Kevin Hart speaks very wisely and you could honestly mistake him for a Muslim based upon what he is saying. Basically, would you realize that you're not in control? No matter how much you think you're in control, you're not in control. At the end of the day, it can all be over. Man. Sometimes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to take opportunities to remind us who truly is in control. Every now and then we can become so arrogant and things can be going our way that we begin to believe that everything is in our control and it is our good works that's causing us to have success. And sometimes this success, our desire for that success can cause us to be led astray from the path of Allah. And sometimes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to need to nudge us back into place. Place. I honestly feel like God basically told me to sit down. We're gonna need a little nudge to turn back to Allah and this is what happens to every single one of us including you watching on the other side of the screen. For some this nudge might be small. Something tiny can just set you off and cause you to turn back to Allah because you're reflective enough. For some this nudge can be in the form of a heartbreak that you went through which causes you to turn back to Allah. For some this nudge comes in the form of someone passing away. Someone that you hold near and dear to you that passes away that reminds you of your own fragility in this world. And for others, it's a near-death experience that causes them to remember who we have to return to at the end of the day. But after my accident, I see things differently. I see life from a whole new perspective. My appreciation for life is, is through the roof. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows exactly what you and I need to happen to us in our lives for us to be nudged and turned back in His path. You know, when God talks, you gotta listen. Now I think this is the perfect time to let you know that this video is sponsored by Nature's Blend. When I found out that Kevin Hart had an accident on September 1st, my immediate thought was like, man, this dude's gonna need hijama. And for my hijama clinic, I'm obviously required to have a lot of cups and my cups and all Suna supplies comes from Nature's Blends. I like supporting companies like Nature's Blend because companies that follow the Sunnah and try to promote a Sunnah and a healthier way of living, it's not really common. And the huge line of Sunnah products that they have is absolutely incredible. So if you click the link in the description below and put in the promo code SQ10, you will receive 10% off your next order. Now, let's get back to the video. What would affect you to turn back to Allah is different from what would affect me and anyone else watching out there. When you're moving too fast and you're doing too much, sometimes you can't see. But whenever something happens to us, we often feel as if, Man, God hates me. God is punishing me right now. Why, God? Why me? We often feel like God is punishing us or God is upset with us whenever something bad might happen to us. But I want you to change your mindset. I want you to understand that the default is good. Whatever happens to you, your default needs to be that it is good for me. Once you realize that nothing happens without the permission, plan, wisdom, knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and once you acknowledge and realize that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves you more than your own mother could possibly love you, then nothing bad can happen to any one of us. Because Allah would never allow something bad to happen to you and I. And whatever does happen to us is good for us because it comes from Allah's divine decree and wisdom. And what I'm about to tell you right now is extremely difficult and it's extremely tough. But our default needs to become whenever we deal with hardship, we need to remember one thing. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiun. We belong to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we must return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The believers are are always acknowledging this whenever they're faced with some difficulty or hardship. Whoever practices this difficult task of self-reflection, those are the ones who receive Allah's blessings and His mercy. Well, that was the video, guys. I appreciate you watching. Make sure you drop your feedback, your thoughts, and your bigger takeaways from this video in the comments section below. And until next time, I'm out.